In this video, we'll talk about Refresh View API. So let's pick up one of the most common use case in which we are going to update the standard view from a custom component without page refresh. So let's first try to understand the problem statement. So let's build a component and look at the problem first. So let's go to our VS code. So I'm in my PS code. Let's create a new component and we'll give this name as refresh view standard component standard view or we can say refresh standard view here. Yeah. Now we have our component ready. So let's do the first thing to make this component available. We will say is exposed to true and we are going to place this component on our record page so we'll set the targets and the target will be lighting underscore underscore record page now let's go to our html and in this html we are going to create a card we'll say lightning card and in card we can give the title and we can give title refresh view api update standard component or standard view so here in this we can create a div with a class slds variable margin around medium so that we can get some space around our card so now our card is ready almost now what the use case is we're going to create a lightning record edit form by which we will create a contact so we already know how to use the lightning record form so let's quickly create that lightning record edit form so we'll create the edit form here and in edit form first we need to tell what object or what kind of record you're gonna create so we'll define object api name equal to contact so we are going to create a contact record and in this we will define lightning message that will capture our error messages so we are give, defining this tag lightning messages if any error occurred automatically this tag will capture those errors then we'll say lightning input field and first field we're gonna capture here is name field we'll say name field and at the same time we're going to import these fields so we'll go to js and here first we'll define our field name that's our property and on the top we're going to import the reference so we'll say name underscore field from at salesforce slash schema slash our object and then dot field name so that's our field API name and we'll say assign this field reference to a property name field similarly we can do it for a couple of more fields and we can say contact dot phone then we can say contact dot email and we know there is a lookup relationship between contact and account so we can say contact dot account id and we can give these names as account field this one we can say email field and this one we can say phone field so now our references are ready let's create the local properties as well so we'll say phone field to phone field then we can say email field equal to email field and then we can say account field 
equal to count field. So now we have mapped the references. Let's go back to our HTML and let's create the input field for the all the fields. So I'll just copy this four times and we'll say first name field, then we can say account field, then we have imported phone field, and we have email field. Now we have our form ready. We need an action by which we will submit this form. And for that, we can create one div with a class, SLDS variable margin top and medium. We don't want our button to touch to the field. So that's why we are giving some margin around our button. And inside this div, we're going to create our button. Button we know how to create lightning button will define a variant equal to brand so it will be of blue color then we want to specify type here and make sure the type is submit because that tells our form to get submit on click of this button and we can say label equal to create so our button is also ready our form is ready and our fields mapping is ready and what else we want is we want as soon as the contact gets created it should do a toast message or put some console so we can put some console that is also fine so what we can do is there is a another method on this form so we'll say on success so on success event gets called whenever the whenever the successfully record creation happens so once the contact record gets created this event gets triggered and we will put our event handler we'll say handle success and this method we're gonna create in our js file usually this method receive in the id of the newly created record so we can print that id you can say event you can use toast meshes to show that as well but let's put in the console itself console.log i will say contact created id and here we can say event dot detail dot id so let's deploy this right now we are just setting up the component we haven't talked about refresh view api so now the component is deployed let's go to our org so i am in my org now i am under the sales app i have created a brand new developer org and i would suggest you to create a new developer org because refresh view api released i guess in summer 23 so it's better if you want to do this demo in your org make sure you have your org updated so I'll go to sales app. I am already in a sales app. I'll go to accounts. I'll open one of the account and I'll try to drag my component on this record page. So I'll go to gear icon. I click on edit. And we can go to custom components. There are so many custom components. So we can look into our component name that is refresh standard view and we can search here refresh standard view. We can drag our page layout we have defined uh, drag to our page and now the form is loading perfectly let's hit save and let's come back to our page now let's try to understand the problem statement here okay till now it's just a plain lwc without any refresh api now my scenario is whenever i create a contact through this form i want that contact to reflect here automatically okay so let's create one contact we'll say mr demo refresh and account name will use the same account in which we are so i am in edge communication so i'll select the edge communication so that the contact that gets created get links to this account and we'll 
select this phone number and we'll say demo at gmail.com so and at the same time i'll open the inspect so that we can view if any message comes here so i'll hit i'll just reduce it i'll hit create and you see the message is printed that contact has been created but the contact is not reflecting here and now to view that contact we need to refresh the whole page that's one of the very common problem that we have faced in the past with the lwc components now you can see that contact is reflecting here and to solve this problem refresh api got introduced so let's use the refresh view api and fix this problem so i'll delete this one So let's go back to our component and now before using this API you just need to make sure two things if I go to the release document right so to use this refresh view API your log um, where it is yeah refresh view API can refresh data for Salesforce platform container custom LWC and Aura components the only thing that base lightning aura components currently doesn't support refresh view api also the important point is lightning web security must be enabled in the salesforce org so let's go and check whether this how to check whether the lws is enabled in our org by default in all new orgs it's enabled but it's good to know where to check so if you go to your home you type session and under session settings just make sure you have an option lightning web security and this checkbox is checked so if it's checked then only the refresh view api will work so we have confirmed that it is checked now let's come back to our component and let's import refresh event so i'll say import refresh event and it get imported from lightning slash refresh so now we have a refresh event available now we have to dispatch this event so when we want to dispatch this event whenever our contact gets created and whenever the contact gets created it call the handle success and print the id so we know how to dispatch an event to dispatch an event will say this dot dispatch event then we need to define the event name so our event name is already like we're going to create a new refresh event and then we're going to dispatch that event so as soon as the event get dispatched all the standard components gonna listen this or standard views and it will refresh the data so it's very simple to dispatch so let's refresh the let's deploy this and refresh the page it's just a one line magic and let's refresh the page and let's enter the details again demo refresh view account name is edge communication phone number demo3 at gmail.com and now hit on create as soon as we hit create you can see it print in the console the created contact id and immediately our contact type appeared so that's how our refresh view api works and that's how our refresh event works so this was the demo in which we use a custom component to update or refresh our standard view component without refreshing the page and that's it for this video thank you